morning. Today is June 16th, 2021. My name is Father Trout, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. Friends, it goes without saying, worrying is a critical factor that impacts many of our lives. One of the most common and destructive daily habits, my brothers and sisters, that we get caught up in certainly must be the habit of worrying. And this is a lifestyle we must be willing, my friends, and ready to change. Dale Carnegie, an American author, once stated, our fatigue is often caused not by work, but by worry, frustration, and resentment. Even further, we are encouraged in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Friends, worrying is one of my major crutches in life. I mean, if worrying was a crime, I would have been convicted and sentenced to life. And for the most part, as I reflect on it, not in a bad way, but an interesting way, I realize how unnecessary it is and how it's not needed in my life. However, by nature, I always was a chronic warrior. Not warrior as in fighter, but warrior. However, today, my friends, I would like you to keep close to this scripture, which reminds us not to worry. Medically, I want you to know that worrying is not good for us. And the same thing can be said for us spiritually. When we are worrying, we are much less peaceful, joyful, and grateful. And let's be honest, it is lovely to say it, but believing it is another story. How can you keep from worrying in a world that is, seems like it's built to make us worry? You see, friends, the antidote to worrying, according to Jesus, is the assurance that comes from God's care for us. We are reminded of that scripture which states, If God cares for the birds of the air and the lilies of the valley, then why would he not do the same for us? You see, friends, life may not go exactly how we would like it to, but we have to put our whole self in the strong and safe hands of God. But above all, we must remember not to worry because God loves us. And God, even the God that takes care of the birds and the lilies, will too take care of me. But above all, he will take care of me. Let us pray now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, Today we ask you to remind us not to worry. We need to remember your faithful care. Even for the ravens and the lilies, we need to be jolted by the fact that worry is, will not add one moment to our life and may very well subtract several moments from it. Yet, as you know, we cannot simply stop ourselves from worrying. This freedom is a gift from you. It comes in part as we reflect upon your goodness throughout creation. It comes as we remember how good you have been to us. And it comes as your spirit graciously calms our heart and helps us to trust you more. Today, Lord, when we are tempted to worry, and we surely will be, may we remember your goodness and trust you. May we let go of our worry in order to grasp your strong hand today and always we pray amen friends as usual i would like to thank you for tuning in and as we always say here make today your best day till we meet again